everybody, Wendell Mike and I am out here at Saluro Ranch Park where we have the antique tractor and engine show going on Saturday, March 6th from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. I've got Dean Hintz, and Dean, you're with the uh, tractor and engine show. Yep. Tell me a little bit, as we start driving, tell yeah. me a little bit about what's going to happen out here and what people will see. So a lot of basically interactive displays. You're going to have uh, engines uh, grinding corn, pumping water, demonstrating what they really were, in, were built for. Uh, back in the early days of farming. You're also going to have tractors like this getting a good workout on the pole track uh, doing uh, antique tractor pulling. And again, that's just a demonstration really of horsepower and giving a, a short example of what they can do. Also out in the, the uh, exhibition field here at Saguaro Ranch, tomorrow we'll be running tractors out here actually plowing. Yeah. Awesome, this thing's pretty fun to drive. I, it's my first time driving one. Awesome. They are. I know normally there's a chart for this event. This is the 31st annual, and they did it last year because it happened before things kind of checked yeah, out. Yeah. And this year there's no chart. Correct. So we're obviously reduced scale. And one of the big concerns was safety for uh, any, all of our guests and, and our members too. Um, so we, we there's a lot of things that people that have come here year after year are used to seeing. They might not see that this year, and that's really just to make it, make it safe. In exchange for that, we're like, let's just not charge. Uh, let, let's basically give back to the community, still put on a fun show, but a safe show. And what is the draw for people? These antique tractors, I know they're really cool. That was my first time driving. It's really fun to drive. What is the draw? Does it kind of take you back to the old days? Yeah, I think that's a big part of it, that um, I've seen uh, some guests at shows that will come up and they'll just stare at a tractor. And you know that they spent a lot of their youth uh, probably working uh, with that uh, tractor, that same model. And I think that's a big part of it. I think there's uh, the people that really are interested just in history, old things, uh, and kind of maintaining that connection. And I think there's another group of people that they, they're fascinated with the mechanical part of it. So, you know, the, the tractors are very open. You can see everything that's going on. The engines even more so. And I think uh, everybody's inner mechanic also the, the, it just really enjoys seeing how all this works. And when people come out tomorrow, what types of things will they see besides the tractors themselves? Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing is they're going to, you know, I get normal years we would have uh, threshing uh, exhibitions, everything. But this year, you know, really reduced. It's going to have almost more of a car show feel to it where uh, a lot of different models uh, and makes and models of uh, tractors throughout history. And the same thing with the engines. Uh, so they're going to see them actually in in uh, in action, uh, but it's just going to be reduced this year. So you know we'll ask for everybody's uh, forgiveness and uh, put on an even better show next year. Oh, I'm sure they're going to love it either way. Yeah, hey, hope so. Thanks, thanks for joining us today and good luck at the show. Thank you so hope much. You enjoy it. Thank I'm you. I'm going to drive over. Absolutely. And talk to, uh, somebody else about the ramp. Okay. Awesome. All right. See if I can't go in here. It's a little choppy, but. Getting through it. All right, joining us now, Paul King. He's the Recreation Administrator for the City of Glendale. And Paul, this is all happening here at Saguaro Ranch Park, which is one of the most important historic places in the City of Glendale, right? Right. It's an actual old working ranch and farm from the 1800s. Uh, a little bit of history. The William H. Bartlett purchased the ranch, which was total of 640 acres at the time, for 25 cents an acre and uh, developed a citrus ranch in 1886. Through there, the ranch traded hands and, and became a working dairy in the 1930s. And after that, in 1977, the city purchased 80 acres, uh, of which you see today is the Saguaro Ranch Park uh, Regional Park. And normally people would be able to come out here and walk through the buildings. Of course, with COVID right now, COVID protocol, everything's kind of shut down. But once things start opening up again, there are some really great buildings people can walk through. Right. We have 13 historic structures for people to kind of see how life was lived back in the 30s. And we have a whole barnyard area with different uh, types of great structures, like the blacksmith shed and the granary, uh, for people to see how farming was done. But we also have the main house where the family lived, where you can tour those, uh, that place and see how people lived in the 1930s. In addition, we have the fruit packing shed, which is a historic uh, packing shed for fruit where they stored it. We transformed that into a rental facility where people can have small receptions. Thanks, Paul. So that makes us the perfect backdrop again for the antique tractor and engine show, which is happening Saturday, March 6th from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. You can dig it in some history here at Saguaro Ranch Park.